Hey, my name is Aaron Huang. I'm a senior studying mechanical engineering here at Boston University. And it's been a while, but we are back to class. Let me tell you how that's been. So the way that BU is doing it is they're doing what they're calling a hybrid model. They branded it learn from anywhere. <laughs> But like, it really is that. You can learn from anywhere. You can sign into classes remote while you're on campus, sign into classes remote from home, or you can show up in person. Like some classes, you really don't have to show up in person, but other classes, it might be a little bit more discussion-based. That's just easier to do in person. I miss being on campus a lot, so it was definitely worth it for me to try in-person classes for at least a few days uh, and see how that went, and then see where I wanted to go from there. I woke up on time, which is good. My schedule for the day, I got remote, in-person, remote, in-person. So I don't have time to come all the way back to the apartment between each class. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to take the classes on campus, but remote. Thankfully, there are a lot of outdoor spaces that I'm just gonna probably camp out in and take the class. I think that the fresh air might actually help me concentrate. So yeah. Good day, I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna finish my coffee and I'm gonna head out. So I finally figured out a good plan for my first class. I'm taking my remote lecture from the View Beach. Meeting up with my friend Haley. Yeah, should be fun. Hi, Haley. They set up little picnic tables. I don't know how to vlog. Thank you. Y'all want some hands? I don't know. Do we have a seating chart? No, just pick a seat. Okay, so I was saying, so this is a separate motor. The two parts of a motor, basic part. Yeah. Um, so, so these are all discrete steps. Is there any way to like smooth out between each step? How would you do it? Good question. How would you do it? Uh. <laughs> hey. Hello. 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 It is for your vlog. It is for my vlog. How are the hybrid things going for you guys? Good. Honestly, not bad. Bye, Cam. Bye, Aurora. All right, cool. Pretty successful first in person class. Uh, it was definitely really nice to see all my friends again. They're all doing good, I think. I'm back on my own now because uh, I have another class in a little bit. It's going to be virtual. So I think I'm going to go hang out on the BU beach, finish my lunch, and uh, do that class. I'm late to class. Apparently, you can still be late to class if you're going in person. This is less than 15, so this is exactly the point. What we care about is the utilization. Yeah, great day. Um, in-person classes went better than I expected. As far as the safety is concerned, it's definitely manageable. Everybody's really understanding that it's kind of up to everybody to make sure that everybody's safe. It's really just like a common sense thing. Just 
generally stay away from people, generally wear your mask, grab hand sanitizer on your way in or out, that sort of thing. And now that the classrooms, all the, all the desks are spaced out, there's definitely enough room to kind of stretch your legs and, and have your own little personal space. So, so that's pretty nice. So I think that my classes can be divvied up into kind of two categories. You have the more math-based lectures, which definitely port pretty easily to uh, remote lectures. The other half of my classes are kind of lab-based classes that like hands-on learning that is definitely really critical to learning engineering, obviously. So the college is sending at-home lab kits to all engineering students so that they can do things from home. At least that's how it's supposed to work in theory. It's it's definitely a lot harder to ask for help from home when you have a different set of circumstances than when you're in the lab and you kind of just ask a lab TA to help you out. So for this class, we're finally going to be using our at-home lab kits to basically program a stepper motor to build a linear stage. Okay, so this is not going that well. I uh, could not find this one wire and now he's like, six steps ahead and i don't know what's going on so the good thing about the hybrid model is that everything's recorded so i'm just going to take a look at it tomorrow um once i figure out this wire situation and i'm gonna go for a walk right now okay so obviously that lab didn't go as planned but i do have another lab-based class where our lab supervisor has set up uh, a bunch of webcams and we're uh, controlling robots through Zoom. No crashes today. <laughs> so that's gone really well. That's, I mean, it's been pretty cool. Of course, I am, I'm off the milk control now. Yeah, so I'd say that I've had varying amounts of success with uh, how we're doing labs this semester. But also I'm glad that the college is kind of putting in the extra effort to make sure that we we still try to get some semblance of some sort of hands-on something uh, in that we're not just resorting to like simulations or something lame like that, you know? can't quite pin it, but Zoom remote classes feel different this semester than they did last semester. Things, things just feel a, a little less hectic. I think everybody's just had some time to adjust to this new format of class. I will say though that it seems to be putting more strain on the professors to have to teach uh, both to students in the classroom and online as opposed to you know, the latter half of last semester when everything was online. I really think that it depends on the professor. Some professors are really responsive to online students and others occasionally just forget about the whole online side of the class and just only talk to the people in person. So I think that there's some, there's some adjustment to be had there. All my classes are kind of approaching the problem of hybrid classes from a different angle. But you know, having this hybrid model is giving me a lot of freedom to basically have class wherever I want. You know, I've been taking classes while I'm, you know, eating dinner or when I'm cooking dinner. And I still feel like I'm able to pay, you know, relatively good attention to class while I'm doing that. If I'm tired of sitting in a classroom all day, I'll just go take a class outside. And I feel like in that case, I'm, I'm actually paying more attention. Really, school is only one part of my life, and I think I have to constantly remind myself of that. I have two part-time jobs, I have freelance video projects, I have little ideas of things that I want to make, which thanks to the lab kits now I have more tools to make them. And I think that the bottom line is, I'm really thankful to be around Boston and to have this choice that I know that not everybody can make. 
So as the semester progresses, I think that the key is just to roll with the punches and play by ear. I wish you all the best of luck with that. Stay safe and be well.